Joining us now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton, a member of the Judiciary Committee. Senator, um, this should be a warning, should it not, to any voter who thinks that Democrats truly care about crime when, in this New York case, they still can't say anything clear about this guy's motives when he tells us what his motives are online. I mean, it couldn't be more obvious what the guy was trying to do. I know, Laura, it's an amazing change of heart. The Democratic Party is not going to be tough on crime. I I'm just waiting for them tomorrow to announce that they're going to protect unborn babies and protect your Second Amendment rights as well. I mean, I just can't even believe this is happening. But here's what all voters should keep in mind. It's not actually happening. This is just campaign spin from Democrats because they recognize that Americans are prepared to hold them accountable at the ballot box for the fact that we had the highest increase in the murder rate on history. That in so many cities now, parents are worried about letting their kids go play in parks or whether their kids can walk home safely from school or from a ball game back home as it's getting dark. That's the direct result of democratic policies, whether it's defunding the police or eliminating bail systems or cutting sentences for drug dealers. Just a couple weeks ago, the president's own chief of staff gave a speech celebrating that they had just let out more felons from federal prisons than any administration in history. So despite what the Democrats are saying now, the American people know that the Democrats are, always have been, soft on crime, and that is endangering Americans. Yeah, and it's always that they claim, well, Republicans want to criminalize poverty. That's the line from the progressives in New York, in Baltimore, Oakland, St. Louis, that, that they're the callous ones, when, in fact, the, the callousness and the danger comes from this revolving door of criminality. And that suspect in New York, his rap sheet was quite long. He had a, um, ties to New Jersey and Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, Ohio. And chief um, of detectives, James Essig, said that he has nine prior arrests in New York, three in New Jersey, and two states where he was just released uh, so happened to have very lax bail policies, even with some reforms that they say are coming. Uh, so the, the, the stats tell the story, do they not? Yeah, yeah, Laura, Republicans don't want to criminalize poverty. It's Democrats that don't want to criminalize anything. You have prosecutors supported by George Soros in places like Philadelphia and San Francisco and Los Angeles that refuse to prosecute entire categories of crimes, in many cases, serious and even violent crimes. Those are the prosecutors that are contributing to the rise of increase in their cities. It's not Republicans who have been proposing to, for instance, eliminate cash bail in places like New York, which they did, and has resulted in that revolving door of serious criminals being arrested and then immediately being released and committing crimes again. This is what the Democratic Party stands for. Remember, Kamala Harris was bailing rioters and arsonists out of prison in Minnesota two years ago, encouraging her supporters to give money to bail funds in Minnesota for BLM rioters to get out of prison. Now, uh, Senator, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you. And remember, if you